So you can see nicely the glaze now. Look. Oh, yeah. Look at the chop. Oh, yes. I love rooms. Oh, this looks so good. Hello, it's me again, Shira from Foodie with Food. Today we're in Birmingham City Centre. We've come to try Kavali, which is an indo persian fine dining restaurant. So come with me, let's see. We've been sat down and um, somebody came to us and told us you know the favorite things on the menu things that they would recommend and also the chef came and told us what he would recommend so that's actually more exciting because we now have an idea of what to get I already got papadons I was I was told that the papadons are really really good because they're different kinds some of them have got seeds some of them it's just plain they're all different kinds and then there's three different kinds of sauces. One is tomato, one is mango, one is uh, mint. I kind of have an idea of what I'll have. The chef special has been recommended by three people already. So I'll have the chef special. Some of the lamb ribs, char grilled um, lamb ribs, marinated in honey, lemon, and a pinch of chili. That sounds nice already. And I'll have a Hyderabadi biryani. So Hyderabadi biryani, of course, the chicken one because I'm already having lamb. The aromas coming from here. Even the papadon smells good. How is that? Because I can smell the papadon from all the way. It was far away from me. I could smell it. There's a lot of aromas coming from here, and I love that. I'm here for it. The place is very, very beautiful. Everyone is really nice. And they're not only nice to me because of a food review. I've kind of listened and observed how they are with other people. So. Hmm. Mm, that's nice. The seeded one is a bit less seasony than the other one I've tried. So I think the other one is the other, the other one that I've tried is chili, a chili one. Then this one is a seeded one. Then there's this one which is plain. The fact that every bite is different because it's like three different flavors. One is plain, one has chili, one has seeds. Three different flavors. That's nice. I feel like it's worth the price considering they're not just giving you papadons from the shop they're making it themselves you can see from the oil that they've just deep fried them so it's fresh so the prices aren't cheap but if you ask me so far I feel like it's worth it it's fine dining so you don't expect cheap in fine dining it's fine dining the service is amazing the place is beautiful the location is brilliant the chef special is $8.95 we've ordered lamb ribs which is £22.95 Biryani $22.95 and we've ordered a paratha as well which is $4.45 so do your math and it's not cheap but I think it's worth it considering it's fine dining you don't expect cheaper from fine dining well look at this do you know what this is the cocktail menu something I've loved about this place is it's halal the food is halal but they cater for anybody if you want to come eat and drink alcohol they cater for you if you want to come eat halal food and not drink alcohol they cater for you because they give you mocktails so there's mocktails and there's cocktails i love that about it so i'm going to the kitchen now so let's see this is the kitchen so this okay. is uh, ribs this is we have like charcoal Ooh, grill this yeah. is like I've, I've only seen it on youtube videos or on yeah. tv how yeah. they grill like this yeah so sometimes you can have like a whole yeah like saturday food. night we like yesterday we did around 300 customers evening so wow. the grill was full on nowadays like most of restaurants do gas just, yeah. just the and gas gas grill yeah. yeah 
but we trying to bring the old culture like mm-hmm. charcoal grill so you get that natural flavor of charcoal okay. it's a slow heat yeah. so meat cook very nicely and it stays right. tender and juicy okay yeah it's not like the heat is from the gas is very fast okay yeah. it's raw meat we okay. put on the grill and then we bast with the flavor so now the ribs getting ready we just bast it yeah like okay. this yes yes so it gives a glaze and uh, the, the taste get more mature uh-huh. yes yes and yeah. you have chef chef uh, special So these are like lentil dumplings. So these are homemade crisps of okay. wheat flour. Okay. So wheat and butter, and then we make these crisps. So you put the crisp on bottom, and then you got uh, roasted cumin powder. So this is roasted cumin, and then you got fresh mint coriander chutney. Okay. So this goes on top of this. Fresh. You know when you eat, you get explosion in your mouth. Yeah. Then you got flavored yogurt. This is rose scented okay. yogurt. So then you pour good amount of yogurt on top, so it cover the dish because tamarind is uh, quite sh- sharp. Sour. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is with a flavored yogurt. Goes on good amount of this yogurt. Oh wow. Yes, yes. This is our chef special shot. Then we got biryani. You have ordered chicken yeah. biryani, so mm-hmm. the biryani we serve with salad. Okay. And this is uh, cumin flavored yogurt. Okay. So this is the biryani sauce that we cook. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then chef, uh, yeah. So this is going to oven. We bask okay. with butter. Then we put in the oven. You get nice glaze. Okay. And you can eat the pastry as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I will. You can put in the oven. Put butter on top. Yeah. And I will take you on the grill again. So you can see nicely the glaze now. Look. Oh, yeah. Look at the chop. Oh, yes. I love ribs. Oh, this looks so good. Oh. I love going to the kitchen. It just gives me joy seeing them making the food that I'm going to have. Oh, I love that. So, as you've seen, we've just been in the kitchen. And uh, you've seen what they're preparing for us, the the grilled ribs. is what i'm looking forward to the most well let me t- let me try my cocktail huh look at that come up close so the cocktail is just in a bowl mm oh that's got a lot of aromas and i can taste the alcohol and then on top it's got nutmeg listen no matter how much or how little nutmeg you put you got to smell it from miles away it's got nutmeg it tastes really good i can taste the alcohol i don't know what else i can taste but it's got like some bitterness from a distance sourness and sweetness and the nutmeg smell just makes you feel like it's got a lot of aromas is this chef special yes it's sharing yeah Thank you very much. Lamb ribs. Huh? Thank you. More food is coming for you guys. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Normally I would start with a cold plate, which is the chef special, but I'm not going to start with a cold plate because it's already cold. I'm going to start with the lamb ribs so they don't get cold by the time I'm having them because I'm going to be biased depending on how cold they'll be. So I'll start with the ribs. <laughs> in that rib it's got a honey flavor chili lemon from like a distance mm. Mm-mm. oh my god that is beautiful i don't even think i need the sauce but i'll i'll dip it just so i can see what it tastes like mm. 
really good. This rib, oh. I want to take them home. <laughs> Just take all the ribs in the kitchen. <laughs> mm. It's not very soft. But it's not bad. Like it's not tough or that it would break your teeth. It's just not extremely soft. But you, you have to understand why it's not extremely soft. They haven't pre-cooked it. They've just grilled it. Which is what you want. It's got some chardness in it. Some of the honey has caramelized when it was being grilled. And you can taste the caramelization on the honey. Mm. That is good. That is legit. This has got some salsa on the side as well. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure having it together would complement it. The next thing I'll have is the biryani. Are you ready? Mm, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks hot. Oh, and the bowl is really, really hot, but they warn you before you start eating. So I'll put some of the sauce inside. It's like a tomato based sauce. when you know it's serious business that is beautiful if I'm being honest apart from the biryani I make which I'm gonna be biased here this is the best biryani I've tasted outside home mm -mm -mm. it is packed with flavor let me try it with the paranka else does this you know put your anything you're eating inside a paratha I do it I'm proud of it listen I have a friend who hates biryani let me just shame him here or rather call him out halal food travel guy Ali you should try this I think it will change your mind I love pilau I love biryani but this biryani <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> it will change your mind, Ali. It will. Let's try the chef special now. It's packed with flavors because we saw them making it or rather assembling it, and we could see that it has a lot of flavor. Flavor to flavor to flavor. So let's try everything from that. And we've been told to eat it from the bottom, like. It's as if you're digging, so dig in and eat whatever you find when you dig in. I hope we've gotten everything. It's like a burst of flavor in my mouth. I feel like they've all busted and I don't even know what to say or how to say it. So I'm just like, mm mm mm. Wow. The flavors coming from that, you can taste all the textures, all the flavors. Tell you what, my first bite, I actually thought it was a dessert. In my head, I was even telling myself, maybe I made the right decision by having it as the last thing got so much flavor so much texture sweetness tanginess the mint the textures are coming from everything this the crisp at the bottom mm. Mm. and it just explodes in your mouth what do I love the most this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make I feel like I love everything. Honestly, I love the biryani the most. This biryani is out of this world. So the biryani goes first. 
after that I am just torn because everything else is just beautiful honestly biryani is the one that I love the most the rest of them I'm torn I love them equally I would take them home any day any night so we are just in the middle of eating nearly done but we're just gonna find out from the chef what Cavalli is and what inspired the restaurant to come up Okay. Uh, Kavali a restaurant uh, came from our like boss. What uh, he was uh, thinking to do something with all the regions. Okay. So then he came out with this idea. He said we do a Kavali. So it's uh, related to Sufism. Okay. So the Kavali starts from Turkey mm -hmm. and it's ended up in India. So okay. the same way in singing they use Kavali. Okay. So we following in the food. Oh, yeah, like so the pathway. food, yes, pathway oh. from Turkey it starts and end up in the India. Oh, so we, okay. we are from Turkey to Iran, then Afghanistan, Pakistan, India. So the same route we following in the food. Different yeah. cultures of food, oh, yes, that's beautiful. Yes, yes. Okay. So that, that's why it's called Kavali. And that's why you sell different kinds of food, Turkish, yes. Pakistan. Turkish, Indian, Pakistani and uh, we got the Iranian as well. Bangladesh? Persian. No Bangladesh, yeah. yeah, it's the route we following. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. So if I go on the map, I'll see the route from Turkey. Yes, Turkey, how the Kavali came. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. All right, that's interesting. Inside here, we put our mix okay. of tea. Mm -hmm. And this one is just a boiling water. It's like a kettle. We keep on top like this for at least 10 minutes, quarter hour mm -hmm. before we serve it. We have three different types of um, strongness. Okay. This is light, this is medium, and bit more is strong. Make a stronger one, okay? This is a strong. Okay. And then you After add a bit you of put hot the, water? the base, mm -hmm. you have to add the hot water. Uh, okay. And we usually serve it one cube of sugar. Oh, beautiful. Just okay. like this. Alright, thank you. Thanks okay, this is our um, Turkish coffee maker. We put one spoon for each person. The quantity is like this. Turkish coffee when it's made really, really good, need to have the bubble. It also need to be oh, full, otherwise it's a um, sign of disrespect. Stir it for a second and go. This is how we serve. That is nice and refreshing. Normally I'm not a tea person, but that is really, really nice and refreshing. After the heavy meal that I've had, because I'm really, really full because of that meal, this is a good finisher. While I'm drinking the tea, I can smell the coffee. I think I could smell it from miles away. It has such a strong smell. So beautiful. That's how it comes. I love that. You lift your ding 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 and then they bring it with some water because it's very strong you have to you drink it as you're drinking water so drink a little bit of this then drink a bit of water and then it comes with a Turkish delight so let's try it Ooh. what's happening that is strong it woke me up, it woke all my nerves and everything inside me is... That is strong. Wow. That is so strong. Mm. Concluding, the place is beautiful. The service is amazing. The kitchen is beautifully... Everything is just done like the traditional way. They put everything has a thought put into it and that's something that I've really really loved about it the flavors are there the smells coming from here from the coffee and from the spices beautiful I cannot fault this restaurant it's still fairly new so I'm gonna come back and see if anything has changed I'll come back in an ear's time to see if anything has changed but because it's still fairly new everything is perfect I hope it will remain perfect in a few years to come well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Till next time.